Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the mid of October, and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid. Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. If you find yourself getting resonated with this reading, I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube, I am shuffling the cards i'll lay them down and then we'll see what is your energy what is the energy of the person you are thinking about you are dealing with you will be dealing with if you are interested in personal readings with me the details of the same are in description box and comment section let's get started eight of swords uh I, I sort of feel like you want to avoid a certain situation or you want to avoid someone and that's why you're probably showing to the world that you're busy or you're stuck in a certain situation and I cannot free myself from that situation and that's why I cannot attend another situation that you want to avoid or that's why I cannot meet another person that you want to avoid. I feel that you're pretending to be stuck so that you can avoid something or someone okay if that is not the case i simply feel like something has come your way and you simply don't want to be a part of it i don't know what it is it's like maybe you got an invite from a friend or your family members are calling you or your siblings they want to talk to you or maybe your old buddies they are trying to reconnect with you and they are like hey we are in your city and should we reconnect and all that stuff and maybe there is a seminar that your boss has asked you to attend or maybe your boss has asked you to be a part of a new project but i see some reluctance i see that you don't want to be a part of that i see that you want to say no but somehow you're not saying that you're avoiding to say that okay <clears throat> seven of pentacles i think so you're becoming more cautious about your energy libra okay there are certain situations that you want to avoid because you're thinking like if i go and participate in that become a part of that situation or if i go and hang out with my friends i'm gonna waste so much of time i know that i'm gonna waste like two three days at a stretch or i'm and I, I anyways i know that i'm not gonna enjoy it rather i would spend that time and energy towards something that i'm doing right now i'm making money okay let me spend that time and energy towards making more money so seven of pentacles is rather telling me that you are of this opinion that rather than spending my time and energy on x situation or x person i would i will i will instead spend it on another situation y situation which probably deserves my attention and if i spend my energy and time over there i'll also get something in return okay so we have the strength i think so if you want to say no this card is indicating that simply go out and say no okay you know like the angel of strength is backing you you are you're protected libra if you simply want to say no say no you have that strength you have that courage to say no don't worry about hurting people okay you probably are worried like if i say no to this person this person has actually helped me in the last couple of days and blah blah and blah and how should i say no to that person so you probably have some sort of guilty feeling mm -hmm. Or for some of you, you are feeling stuck in a, in a relationship, okay? And somehow you're, you want to get out of that relationship, but the, the, there is lack of courage or lack of words, appropriate words, okay? And you are simply thinking about 100 ways at the back of your mind all the time, like, how should I say no to this person? How should I tell him or her that I want to exit?
but the courage is there see i see whatever the situation is i sort of feel like you're not happy in that situation okay you're unhappy in that situation whether it is a marriage whether it's a connection whether it is a job or whatever it is you you're like there is a very strong initial feeling to avoid it the first thing you are thinking about that situation is to avoid it to stay away from it or from that person that's your first response and when that is the first response it usually means that you don't want it okay you're not happy being a part of it page of swords if it's a relationship that you want to exit you know what you're already becoming interested in in other people so you better exit that relationship soon if it's a job you are already fine searching another job okay you better exit from this job soon because you are not thriving in this place or if you are not searching then start searching the hermit the world and then we have the seven of wands okay i think so uh, you're looking for passion in a relationship you're looking for excitement in a relationship you're looking for commitment stability which probably you have experienced passion but you have experienced passion in the connection only for initial couple of days initial one or two days and then it's it used to fade away like anything okay like it's like you're opening a bottle of beer if you don't finish it off soon the fizz will go away so that's what i see okay so you had to be there was always this fear in in all of your relationships that the fizz would go away soon and it used to go away <laughs> Yeah, it used to go away. The excitement lasted only for initial couple of, couple of days, and the passion used to fade away so fast. It was very surprising for you. Like, how I'm gonna? It was. It was very difficult for you to understand. Like, how I'm gonna survive now in this connection? Okay, you want passion. You want stability. Even if the passion used to fade away. if you were looking out for stability in all of your previous connection that stability was never there okay and you are like once the passion goes away what i want next is a stability and that stability is something that i really need in the connection okay so i think so you are seeking relationships that offer you stability offer you passion and excitement okay i see that you're going to go out on lot of dates libra lot of dates like the month of october is telling me that you will go out on a lot of dates you will notice people becoming interested in you but somehow i'm also sensing that you will reject a lot of people energetically itself you will go out on dates for sure but there are a lot of other people that you're going to reject them energetically you will see a person and you will be like no i don't want you next i don't want you next okay you won't communicate with them verbally but energetically you are letting them know like stay away from me no stay away okay but yes on the other hand i also see that even though you're going to reject many there are many other people that with whom you're going to go out on dates because you are in demand you are certainly in demand okay many people are thinking about you many people are fantasizing a lot about you whoever is meant to be a part of your life from a long term perspective this person is at a distance from you right now okay this person is doing some soul searching and maybe this is also an indication for you libra to do some soul searching okay uh they are their journey has started i mean the journey for both of you to come together has started I feel like you won't meet this person right away in the month of October but possibly in the month of November yes okay but the journey has started I'm talking about a long term partner or it might happen that you might start interacting online and in person meeting might happen in the month of October uh this person is going to be very very protective about you this person will admire you they will think that you are the best 
and the most beautiful or the most handsome person that I've ever met so far. Okay. They will they will admire you. This person will have a lot of admiration for you. A lot of lot of affection, a lot of attraction, a lot of admiration, a lot of love. You will love this person like anything. You will also have a lot of admiration for this person. Okay. Your love life looks interesting for the month of October. I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you. What action they will take towards you. What is the likely conclusion between you and this person. Alright, take care. Have a great time and bye-bye Libra. If you are interested in personal readings, the details of the same are in description box and comment section. Bye.